Welcome back. In the previous videos, we learned how to make an API request using the POST method to the ChatGPT API. In this video, we will utilize that information. We will create a WordPress site using prompt and then demonstrate how to receive our first response from the ChatGPT API in a real application. Prompt engineering is now a buzzword because all of us are now trying to interact with the language models like ChatGPT for our day-to-day uh, -day work. But if we want to get the desired response, we have to construct the input instruction or the query correctly. This practice of creating well-crafted prompts so that we can engage with the language models to get our desired result is called as prompt engineering. In a good prompt, the instructions are explicit, clear, and specific. For example, I say write a code or generate a code. It has a better idea of what to do if we give the context with which we are asking the query or the instruction. If you can give examples as to how you want the output, it's even better. Prompt engineering also requires something called as control tokens wherein for example when i say write about python for five lines in youtube language i have set the tone in which i want the output or response from the model which is the youtube language and finally whatever prompt we give it is essential that we refine it multiple times till we get the desired output the intention is to create a code which I can use in my WordPress site and integrate with the ChatGPT API. To write the code, I give the prompt, write a code for WordPress site. It, it should have the following, a text box and then a button with label prompt. When prompt is clicked, it should send prompt to the ChatGPT API and get the response and that is displayed in the window. A prompt should be given as clear and specific as possible. Now let me submit this prompt. Immediately it gives me a code. Let's go through what's in the uh, response. Please note as stated that the code assumes that we have an API endpoint to communicate with. As shown in the previous videos, we have already got a uh, API key and we also know what API endpoint to use. Let me first copy this code. Next, let me create a new page. I add the title chat GPT demo one in the text region i copy the code that was generated by chat gpt let me paste it here let me remove the ones which are not essential i need to make an api call to chat gpt so i go to this place in the previous video, we have already seen what should be our model endpoint. It is HTTPS API.OpenAI.com V1 chat completions. Let me increase the font size a little, little more. So this is something we need to replace with because we know what model endpoint to use now we are making a post request in the header the authorization is missing i include my authorization here i have used something called as openai api key which we will see in a few minutes as to where to store it in the wordpress configuration file in the payload json we have the prompt this is got as input 
from a text box let's preview this so it says chat gpt demo 1 enter your prompt here and let me say what is python i don't want to waste too much of my tokens and so in the payload let me add max tokens max underscore tokens as let's say 20 I should have given a comma here let's click prompt we get absolutely no response now let's see some of the other things that we have missed in the code we have failed to mention the model key in the body we have also failed to mention the messages key in the body let's add these two let's include the api parameters that we learned in the previous video so i specify the model to be gpt 3.5 turbo and the messages the role is that of the user and the content is that of the prompt and let me have the max tokens to be 20. preview the changes let me again give what is python click the prompt i still get no response we now know that the payload json has been constructed correctly let's check what the issues are let me go to tools and developer tools and check the error so it says that there is an unexpected token less than and it also gives me the location at which it can be found the location is line number 458 let me check it in line number 458 now this is one issue that i have seen that it has a tendency to include certain characters which are finally not acceptable in 458 i don't find any now this is something that we did not include and it is near the variable prompt i realized that there is a paragraph drag which is included and that has led to the issues so let me give a delete so that there are no unwanted characters in between and check the preview again what is python let me go to console and give the prompt i still see that there is something uncaught and there is an unexpected string and that is at line number 464 let me go to sources i have made some mistake here so that's barrel plus open api but i have failed to give the comma let me go and construct my header correctly now i am assuming it should work let's see the preview and the console shows me no error so what is python it says undefined so what do i do i just copy the code i move to my chat gpt window i paste my code and say i give get the output as undefined correct the code so it says it seems you're having an undefined variable open ai open api key with the authorization header we need to give data.choices.message.content 
currently my authorization is right because open api key is already included in the configuration file this place chat window is equal to inner html is equal to data dot choices dot message dot content this is where i need to change it and i change the content and let's give preview so far no issues and i give what is python let's give the prompt and i get the answer i have not yet mentioned how i gave the api key in the configuration file let me also explain how to set the api key in the configuration file so that it is secure and not accessible by the public we have seen how to store the api key in the environment variable but let's say we are using the wordpress site in that case it is essential that we store the api key securely in the configuration file so first let's connect to the wordpress installation using ftp which is provided by the hosting provider like let's say in my case godaddy locate the wp-config.php file it is usually in the root directory of your wordpress installation open it with a text editor and add the line define open ai underscore api underscore key and then follow it with a string in which you have your own api key save the changes and then close the changes since wordpress uses php on the server side and javascript on the client side we need to handle the api key retrieval so what we do is we open a file called as functions.php in wordpress's theme and we add the following code to define a custom shortcode this will retrieve the api key from the wp-config.php file and then it will output it as a javascript variable all these codes and links to the codes can be viewed in our github given in the description below go to web hosting and we basically need to go to the c panel i click manage launch the file manager in the file manager double click public html you can see wp hyphen config.php file click edit after right clicking please ensure that you have a copy of the wp config file in case we make some unnecessary changes if not you can give edit in edit you will see a place with this comment saying that's all stop editing happy publishing and also the one on top which says any custom values between this line and the stop editing line so i add this comment saying that this is the api key for open ai and then i give define and then open ai api key and here where i have given xxx ensure that you have the entire api key correctly stored and then you can save the changes in the file manager in public html we also have a folder called wp admin and there we have something called as themes theme editor.php in wp admin go to theme editor.php you get all the theme files here open functions.php and in functions.php ensure that you include that we are using the open ai api key 
which is given in the configuration file. This piece of code is included. Finally, we can publish 